This lesson is about graphing in standard form. When you have standard form, it basically means that you have a number in front of x, a number in front of y, and you have it equal to another number. So we represent it with ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all constant terms or, or uh, coefficients, they're integer numbers, or whatever it happens to be. This is a perfect example. 3x plus 2y equals 12. This is standard form. The nice thing about standard form is if you hand graph stuff, it's really easy to do in almost every situation. And I'm going to show you all of them. Um, so what we're going to do is what's called intercepts method. If you have it in standard form, you can lock or you can find the uh, relationship that the numbers have with the axis. So if I have x minus 5y equals negative 5, what I'm going to do is lock in its placement by saying, OK, x equals 0. So it's got to be here. The only way it can move is up or down. So I'm going to do 0 minus 5y equals negative 5. So this goes away completely, except for the negative part. You bring down negative 5y equals negative 5. It's like solving an equation now y is equal to 1. So you go to 1 on the y-axis and you make your dot. On the other side of it, I can do the same thing by locking the y value at 0. So this goes away completely and you end up with x is equal to negative 5. So on the x-axis I go down to negative 5 and then I just connect the two together. That's it. That's all you have to do. This is called intercepts method. Um, also, you could convert it into slope intercept form. So, which is a little bit weird to pull off on this one, but I'll do it anyway. Um, in slope intercept form, if you've seen the video, it means that you get y by itself. So you just draw your line. I need to get rid of this entire x term. The relationship is add subtract, but it's plus x, so I need to subtract x bring down a negative 5y. Remember, this negative doesn't affect the x. It just stays with the 5. Um, these are not like terms, so I can't do anything with them, so bring them down. Then I to need to get rid of times negative 5. I have to do it to all the terms that are not like terms. y is equal to 1 fifth, because there's supposed to be a 1 here, negative 1 divided by negative 5, plus 1. So I go to 1, and if I go down 1, and over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is one where I go down and left. Um, it's the same graph. So either one of those methods is fine. And this one actually is one that you could potentially graph in the calculator now that you have it in slope-intercept form. So if we had y is equal to 1 over 5x plus 1, oops, I forgot to kick out from under the uh, fraction there, plus 1, you can get the nice graph that I've had the entire time, which might be helpful once you start doing systems of equations where you have to do multiple graphs on one graph, or you have to do multiple lines on one graph. In this situation, I'm going to do it uh, in both methods again. It might not work out quite as cleanly, but I'm going to do intercepts method by sort of almost covering up the numbers. So I start out with 5x minus 3y is equal to negative 6. So in the first instance, I'm sort of going to pretend that I just cover this up completely. So what I'm left with is 5x is equal to negative 6. So draw your line, divide by 5 you end up with x is equal to negative 1 and 1 fifth. Uh, for the y side of it, I'm going to cover up my x. Because if we set it equal to 0, it eliminates the term anyway. I'm just sort of skipping a step. Draw your line. Divide by negative 3. y is equal to 2. So I just go to my um, graph on the y-axis. I go up to 2 and make a dot. On my x, I go down a little bit more then 1, and then I just want to connect those dots together. If I want to convert it into slope-intercept form, and clear this off, which is the other way to do it, draw your line, I need to get rid of plus 5x, bring this down, divide, y is equal to 
5 thirds x plus 2, which hit right exactly where I thought it would have before. So let me go into the calculator and type this one in just so you could see how they look alike. Go to y equals, clear all this out. Uh, I'm going to use the fraction menu. You could just do 5 divided by 3 if you want. and you hit graph and it looks almost exactly like the one I had before the only difference is the uh, the slope the uh, range of this graph is a lot bigger than the one here so it looks like it's not quite as uh, the slope looks a little weird but it's the same graph uh, the next one x plus one x plus y equals a negative one do an intercepts method I'm kinda gonna cover this part up with my hand a little bit and then I'll end up with x equals 1 and if I do it again and I cover this part up it says y is equal to negative 1 negative 1 I don't know what I was thinking so on the y I go down to negative 1 on the x I go down to negative 1 and I just draw my line slope intercept form move the x over I'd go to negative one and then I'd go down one and right one and that's if I'd drawn this graph appropriately would have been exactly what I needed to do and you can graph in the calculator too if you want uh, the only time that I get a weird situation is like this 3x plus 4y equals zero if I use intercepts method it becomes a little bit more uh, it becomes basically impossible to do so I'm going to cover this part of it up and now I'm going to solve 3x equals zero. On the other side, I'm going to cover up this and I end up with 4y equals zero. Divide both sides, end up with zero. End up with zero. The problem is, how do you graph it? Well, you have a point, but that's it. You have no idea where the line goes from there. It's essentially one that goes through the origin, but I don't have any more information. So this is one of the this is the only time that the intercepts method doesn't work for standard form. If it's equal to zero, you have to convert it. It's just there's no other option. 3x plus 4y equals zero. So you have to learn how to do this method just for or do this kind of movement just because of the situation where the x the value is equal to zero so I'm gonna get rid of plus 3x by subtracting you could put plus zero here if you want that goes away y equals negative 3 fourths x you can make plus zero or not I'll do it just because so in this case it does go on the origin like I, like I said it would and then you go down three and over four and you'll have a graph that looks a little bit like this. In the calculator it looks like this. Y is equal to negative three over four X and I'm not even going to put the plus zero it already knows. So you see you get that graph. So that's standard form um, Intercepts method is great as long as you're graphing it by hand and you don't need to, and it's not equal to zero. So I would use that a lot. Otherwise, um, you know, choose your own adventure, I guess.